Ice Catch Pad Podcast, you know what it is, man. Listen, man, so look, you want to talk about a comment that Charlie Kirk made that's going viral when everybody says he's a racist. Um, yeah, we're going to come back and discuss that, man. So look, Catch Pad, we'll be back. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i can't understand it neither all right listen man sketch pad you know what it is so hey if you want to links in the description or right on the screen if you want to donate and uh, yeah, let's get into this man real quick. Uh, shout out to Candace Owens, man. Very pretty black woman, man. She's very beautiful. Chase some heat. And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now. No, I mean, about like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm gonna be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, that's the you game wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you oh, wouldn't that's have done not that who before. I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, so you can see. Wow. Okay. All right, man. Look. So, I want you to go first because I got a lot to say on this, and um, we'll see. <clears throat> Oh, well, let me provide the um, context that it was said under. Okay. Before you, in fact, go ahead and say how you feel, and then I'll provide the context. I'm going to speak, and then if you want to speak, your initial reactions off of this, because we're going to do what they do usually, the clip. You see a clip, and this is what, this is what we call taking it out of context, right? So go ahead mm -hmm. and say how you feel. All right, so now I'm trying to process everything, you know what I'm saying? So I don't Yo, go hold up off. before you start. I don't yo, I don't know mm -hmm. if if your Wi-Fi is sketchy or whatever, but you like real mm -hmm. choppy, you going like this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. If you stay in one place, it's, it's probably better. But okay. when you move, it goes like this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. But go ahead. All right, I'll just, I'll try to stay like right here. All right, so I wanna go off base and I wanna go say something that that's not what's meant. So my natural reaction to this was like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? So what you try to say, a black person is not qualified for aviation? We not qualified to fly a plane? I've seen a lot of black pilots. I have flew on a plane with a black pilot. You know what I'm saying? That was my first initial reaction. You know what I mean? Now, is that what he meant to say or how he said it or whatever? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he tried to explain himself. But this is how when you, when you, when, 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 when society depicts something, and you're constantly plugged in, this is how you start thinking. So this is what you say. And it, it may not be what you meant to say, but this is how it comes out. Because your initial, your initial thoughts probably would have been something different, but because 
your influence around you, this is what will come out instead. So, I mean, I'm not familiar with the with, with those folks, so I can't really go 100% in like I want to. But like I said, that's my initial that's my initial thought process like yo what does he mean like so we can't aviate that's what you try to say like we can't fly a plane you know that's that's my first initial like you know what i'm saying like what else can i what else can i say but you know that yeah that's it that's it um, for me all right so look I'm, uh, how would I say this? I am, uh, I am one of those type of people that I don't think the worst when I first hear something from a white person, because I don't think that Charlie Kirk is stupid. I think he's very intelligent. I don't think he's dumb enough to say something like that and mean it to the point where it's, he's actually being racist. If you understand what I'm saying? Some people know they're in the field of journalism and certain things that you just can't say without you, without people looking at you as if you are a racist, right? So mm -hmm. when I first heard this, I, I knew that it was has to be more to it. Now, here's my thing about this, right? You know you're going to get backlash when you say something like that because not everybody's right. me. A good percentage of people is going to say like what you said. What you think? What you saying that black people can't fly planes? What do you mean, right? And and another thing too, people are not gonna look. They're not gonna look deep into why you said it. They're gonna look at what you said, and that's it. They're not gonna look on, behind the curtain, and be like, wait, let me figure out why he said it. You know what I'm saying? Because they look at it like, well, you're a white guy, and you're saying that black people, you you question whether they are qualified to do a job. Now. The reason why he said it is because I believe Delta has they just implement implemented something where it's, they're saying that by the end they're trying to make fifty percent of their pilots DUI hires. Diversity, equity, and inclusion hires. This is the reason why he said it. He's saying like, okay. Did this person get hired because they are a person of color or they're black or did they get hired for they actually uh, are really good at being a, a pilot? You get what I'm saying? But my question to him is you could say the same thing about some white pilots, right? You can't. Now, I understand where he coming from when he say that because the majority of pilots are white, right? But yeah. at the same time. It's very disrespectful for you to say, well, I was, I'm wondering if this pilot is a, a diversity hire. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't say that about white guys that play basketball. We don't say, well, I wonder if he's a diversity hire. We look at it as if, like, okay, I mean, he can play ball. You know what I'm saying? John Stockton, he can play ball. We don't say, well, maybe we need some white players in this game. We got to make it equal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You went through the same aviation training that everybody else did. Now, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is why I call bullshit on that statement because you go to aviation school. You didn't get hired because you were black. You got hired because you went through aviation school. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you can't say, well, I wonder if he was a diversity hire because even if he was a diversity hire, he still went through aviation school. So it didn't matter. It doesn't matter if he is a diversity hire. You get what I'm saying? I could see yeah, it. You're right. If he didn't go to school or the school that he went to wasn't that great and they didn't teach him everything, but that's not how it works. You have to pass no. a certain thing like nursing. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, well, mm -hmm. I wonder if this nurse was a, 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 a diversity hire. That's a personal thing because 
the nurse has to go through nursing school. She has to pass the boards, correct? It's like driving. Yeah. It's a driving right. license. You have to have a driving license. I wonder if he's a diversity hire, but the guy has a driver's license. He had to go and get his license from somewhere else. So yeah. what he's his argument to me doesn't it doesn't connect. Because that has nothing to do with being a diversity hire. So what if it's a diversity hire? He still went through school, aviation school. So why does it matter? You get what I'm saying? Who cares at that point? But I understand where he's coming from because he's saying, I wonder if he's a diversity hire. I don't think he would meant <coughs> that the guy can't do the job. That's what he should have said. But this is... The mentality that has been put on people. And this is why he said this. I highly doubt, matter of fact, I would go on record and say Charlie Kirk's not a racist. He worked with black people. He got black people working for him. He worked with black people. He's not a racist. Let's just get that out the way. I don't care if people say, well, oh, you can still work with black people and be a racist. No. If you're a pure racist, no. You ain't hiding nothing. You're a racist. You ain't trying to be around no jigaboo coon boys. You ain't trying to be around none of them. So I don't think that he's racist. I just think that he has a thought process that people would, well, not, let me take that back. Not fully. Certain things he say is a little on, on, you know what I mean? It's a little racy, not racist, but racy. Like it's a little controversial. You know what I'm saying? But I know people going to take his clip and say that. But for me, I think that he was wrong for saying that. I don't think he should have said that. I think he should have just not even said somebody black. I think he should have said, well, it could have been anybody that, that's, that's not a white male. But even if you say that, it still sounds racist. Because you're basically mm -hmm. saying that, well, only white males really could fly planes. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if you see a white male, you don't know if that white male went to a crappy school. You don't know. You feel safer with him because you're safer because you know that they're white, uh, these white pilots out here fly planes most of the time. So you feel safer with a white pilot. That's what you're saying. But for me, right. you can't say that doesn't sound racist. That kind of do sound racist. If you say, well, I see a black guy and I wonder if he, if he, you know, if, he, if that was a diversity hire. You know what I'm saying? And again, he's saying he wondered if it was a diversity hire. Not if, if he wonder if he can, uh, how would I say, do the job. You know what I'm saying? But either way you color it, it sounds racist. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm gonna say about it. You know what I mean? I think he I think I think Charlie Kirk I think he was wrong for saying that. I don't think I don't think he should have pointed I don't think he should even have said that. I think he should just said diversity hires is not no good. You know what I'm saying? Not well when I get on the plane and I see a black player, I question his credentials or something like that. Like, no. Come on, bro. You know, like this that sounds racist, bro. I'm sorry. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think he's racist. That just sounds racist to me. So it is what it is. But you got anything else? No, I agree. I agree with you 110%. And, you know, that's kind of the reason why I was like, you know, I I, I would like to hear, hear more of it to really understand why he said that. But when you explained it, I get it. You know what I mean? That's why I didn't want to go too far in because, you know, I just... I don't understand why that would be said when it shouldn't even matter on a person's skin color if they can fly the plane. If they went to aviation school and they got certified, that means they know how to fly. So Yeah. I think I think simple. I think his comment kinda got lost in translation. And I think that yeah. for some people they're gonna say he's a racist, but some people they're gonna say, Well, he's just speaking his mind. Some people are gonna say no. Uh, it's not good to have diversity hires. Some people going to say, well, you know, this and that, like, it, it, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But right. everybody's not going to graduate. And I'm sure every, I'm sure every white pilot ha didn't graduate with, at the top of their class. You know what I'm saying? Right. So there's going to be some pilots that don't graduate, but it is what it is, man. Sketchpad, you know what it is. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.